All right, I know we're only four days into December, but looking ahead at the, the first 10 days of the month, because it looks pretty sure here that we're gonna be mild and snowless through at least Thursday. And that puts us on track to be the least amount of snowpack for the first third of the month of December since 2006 or 1999. 1999 was the last time we had no snow on the ground measured for the first full 10 days. Uh, we had a trace in 2006. And of course, temperatures running about 10 degrees above normal. So today we're gonna geek out all about the upper level forecast because that is what everything is about here. Uh, it's dry, sunny, mild here at the surface, but it's what's happening a lot. We've been having storminess to the south, also to the east, and then pretty much clear and mild from Minnesota westward. And we're gonna kind of get in depth here, technical with some of the maps, but this is the middle and upper parts of the atmosphere, basically. And what you're seeing in red and orange are above normal conditions as far as heights is how we measure it in the middle of the atmosphere. Think of it as the same thing as high or low, but basically we have this big ridge where all the flow is moving straight north into Canada and then diving south to the east and you have these big troughs, those blue areas. And that means wetter and cooler than normal conditions where we have those troughs in the upper atmosphere and warmer and drier conditions where we have those uh, upper level ridging in the atmosphere. And that ridge stays persistent right over the west and us through the next several days still. We've had this the last several days and it continues into probably the middle of the week, but we start to see the models hinting at a breakdown of this pattern late next week into potentially next weekend. So this is the European model in particular. It's not as aggressive as the American model, which has been kind of bouncing all over, but just to compare the two, very different scenarios next Friday. So this is not a done deal, but there are signs that maybe uh, winter could be returning. Now, overall, it does look like things are gonna cool down. Inevitably, it will here by the middle of December, but will it be an actual return to winter? That's the question mark yet. And just to show you how variable the models are, especially the American model, that's the one that you've probably seen from some other meteorologists and forecasts, uh, some hope for winter. Well, it's not a slam dunk. Each model run has been completely different. And just to kind of demonstrate that, first several days all line up, but these are two different model runs, 24 hours apart. And look at how different they are as you head out. Big temperature changes. One has us below zero in the mornings at the end of that forecast. Again, this is the middle of the month. And then all of a sudden the next model run has us back up towards 40 degrees. So there's still a lot of uncertainty. The models are trying to figure it out. We are too, but uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed if you're a winter lover. Uh, until it does, we're just looking at a very extreme lack of snowfall here across uh, most of Minnesota, just some in the Northeast, and of course, lots across Canada and Alaska. But uh, mild temperatures today, we're gonna be near 40 degrees again. It is gonna be slightly cooler this weekend, still plenty of sunshine. I think we'll see, be a little cloudier tomorrow afternoon, but Saturday will be probably upper 30s for those high temperatures. Same thing on Sunday with the milder reading still uh, a little bit further off to the west. And as we head into uh, next week, I'm skipping ahead here to Wednesday because that's gonna be the peak of our warmth. It looks like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. High is well into the 40s. We could be seeing some low 50s in Western Minnesota and yeah, 60s pouring into parts of South Dakota again. And then temperatures uh, continue mild right through that whole forecast. So again, Wednesday, the last day there on the forecast, probably the peak of the warmth and then heading into uh, next weekend, that's when things could cool down and as we see a temperature change, that could yield some snow too, but that's still way out there. Again, the model's hinting at a change in the pattern. Just how extreme will it be to bring in uh, true snow and actual winter type temperatures though?